Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to demo demonstrate the first 4K game uh, in a PowerPC Mac. I'm going to use this monitor that is a rebranded version by ViewSonic of the legendary IBM T221 version B. And the setup is very simple. I use Quartz Debug to make things readable by using a double scaling. So this effectively looks like a 1920 by 1222 inch display, but you know with much sharper screen elements. Not all applications scale correctly though. For example, as you can see, the system preferences about this Mac dialog, I mean, doesn't scale, neither does the mouse cursor. But if you do more info, the system profile profiler does scale well. I'm sorry I don't have a 4K camera, so this is going to be really hard to demonstrate properly. My setup of choice for this experiment is to use two single link DVI cables and the two DVI outputs of the Quadro to drive the display at 20 Hz. And I, f I think that is going to be a very good locked refresh rate for X-Plane on 4K. So let's get to it. Since I don't yet have the proper hardware to make macOS CDs as a single canvas, it behaves very bizarrely uh, with two vertical screens and the, th the system just thinks that it's two displays of, um, I think, 1920 by 2400, so a vertical canvas, but up to this point, MicroS was still very good in dealing with all kinds of display resolutions. The situation has changed for worse. But for my experience, it's perfect because Xplain doesn't care about that. It's a pure OpenGL application and the system is gonna... The graphics card actually draw, draws the screen using all outputs available based on the resolution you choose. So let's get to it. Here you can see that Finder doesn't scale very well. The elements of the interface are a bit distorted, but it's completely usable. So let's get to it. I think I'm gonna have to disable the scaling for this because x seems to be doubling everything based on the Quartz debugger configuration. So I'm gonna have to force quit and relaunch this. The interesting thing about Quartz Debugger is that it sets the preferences by application. Mac more than 10 years ago was still better than PCs in this regard, better than PCs are today. So the settings are going to be applied to the applications are launched now, but as you can see, Finder was already loaded, so it still uh, has the double DPI settings. It's loading. Here you can see how tiny the text is. It's basically eight or six points font, rendering considering 72 dpi, and in the screen with more than 200 dpi resolution, 250 I think, it just looks microscopic. And here we are. Finder on the top, the finder bar usually goes away it's staying there just because probably some issue with the quads debugger mm, but the rest renders perfectly even with the texture set to extreme res here I still fit everything into the graphics memory the usage here reported is 495 and this is a 512 card so everything is fine and to have decent performance the only change I had to do to my default settings that I use at 1920 by 1200 was disable pixel shaders and fog, otherwise the frame rate is too low. And I can lock the frame rate to the refresh rate of the monitor, so that's going to be 20 Hz, and that makes for a very, very smooth experience. I don't know what's going on, it was much faster before. Let me check this out. Quitting uh, Quartz Debugger and restarting Finder, it's really smooth. And this monitor is very slow, it has uh, almost 50 milliseconds uh, gray to gray speed, so 
it actually helps for making the simulator look smoother and as you can see flying is a perfectly smooth experience uh, and at this resolution I don't even need anything like anti aliasing or, or anything like that actually it's not performing as well as it used to be maybe it's the weather let's check it out yeah so the system clearly cannot handle uh, clouds in the setup but after clearing the weather I'm back to smooth locked 20 frames per second as you can see G5s have enough power for that if the application is well designed and you have a proper configuration of course I would not really use this resolution for flying I can do better by you know having better graphics and analyzing and I don't need to reduce the number of objects or only flying clear weather but this is a theoretical exercise and my point is proven G5s can do 4K gaming, it is possible Yeah, the performance clearly do drops here with the number of objects. I think trees are the problem, but that's certainly tweakable. And one interesting thing here is that the processor is not spinning up the processor fans, which means that the limitation here is really the graphics card. Maybe when I get closer to the runway... Uh, oh, okay, the system did this, the drawing distance to help me. But as soon as I get closer to the runway, I should be having less trees around. And it should be smoother. I know that IBM had a flight simulator demonstration on this screen but I never managed to find the video and if anyone has any idea where I could find a copy it's not stored in the Wayback Machine and would be very interesting to see as a nice part of uh, a nice interesting part of computing history I guess that's it for today 4K explain on a power mac g5 thank you for watching and my next one is gonna be well i'm gonna try to get quake uh 4 to run at this resolution